This is Phil Marshall Tura Ock for another episode of Get Armed Now. What I'm going to be dealing with today is alertness and awareness. <clears throat> so, you always want to be careful about your surroundings and aware of your surroundings when you're walking. If I'm walking, I'm always noticing blind spots and vulnerable spots, right? I know that here, I can see what's behind that tree. But I know as I go here, as I'm walking over here, this tree, there are blind spots. There are blind spots around this corner. So what I'm attempting to do is walk so I can give myself as much reaction time as possible. So as I come and I'm turning, I'm going this way and I know that this is a blind spot. If I come here, right? And I walk close and I walk right here, I give myself no time to react to a threat that might exist, right? My reaction time is zero, they are there, right? But if I take the same walk and I come here, and I walk around here, I've given myself maximum time to react. I see the threat. So now I can extract myself. I can leave, right? Or if I have to go that way, I give myself the opportunity to create distance, right? So <clears throat> worst case scenario, if I have to turn this corner and I have to address it, then now I have maximum time, right? I have maximum time to address it. But the key is, is that to be alert and be aware, I'm scanning my surroundings consistently. And every time there's a blind spot, I'm always attempting to create maximum distance and assessment time for the blind spot. So I'm coming around, I'm attempting to see the blind spot, no longer, it being a blind spot, because I'm, 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 I'm aware of it now. So then I'm attempting to come around, come out, minimize my blind spot. And if you get the concept, every time I'm walking, if I walk here, this is, so behind me, I'm scanning, right? So as I go, if I'm going this way, around this path, I know my blind spot is right around this wall, right around this street. So I'm attempting to come out here and check, come out here and check. But I'm never ever not checking my blind spots. I'm always attempting to get the best field of view on my blind spots. So I swing out as much as I can. Alertness and awareness. Awareness is not only external, but it's also internal. You want to be aware of any injuries you have that will prevent you from being able to react a certain way, right? If you don't see well at night, then you want to be aware of that. You want to think about all of those things in terms of alertness and awareness and what, what your impediments are. So be very careful and we'll, in some segments we'll talk about augmentation with weapons, with, with groups, being in groups, things of that nature. <clears throat> but you also want to use all of your senses. You want, to, you want to see and you want to watch for, but you also want to listen. You may be walking and somebody steps on a stick, right? And you hear, right? You hear, you hear. That might give you an indicator that something's coming behind you, that something's around the corner. Pay attention to all of those things, right? Get home, stay safe, get on.